given. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the value of this triple integral. Okay. So that triple integral is defined on region S and that region S is described in this way. So we have to find out that region S, we have to find out the limits of that triple integration and then we have to solve it. See, this problem is not straightforward like previous examples. Okay, in previous video already we have seen. But see here we have to draw the diagram. We have to find out the actual region. Then only we will have limits. Let us start to solve this one. I will write i is equal to let i is equal to given integral triple integration over s x y z dv. Let us write what we have. We have. Okay. So we have what we have z is equal to 2 minus x square. Okay. This is uh, yeah, we have to write. So in 2D, okay, in 2D, we have already seen when we have equation like this, if power of one variable is two, power of second variable is one, then hundred percent it is parabola. So here also we have two variables with the same powers. So this is also parabola, but it's not exactly parabola. It's a parabolic cylinder. Okay. So it's a parabolic cylinder. So yes, let me write here a parabolic cylinder. And in an example also, they have mentioned a parabolic cylinder that means in xz plane you will find a parabola simply we have to extend it okay so let me write here uh, z here okay so uh, let me write in a standard form that is x square is equal to 2 minus z x square is equal to 2 minus z that means in xz plane as i told you earlier it's a parabola it will be symmetric about z axis negative z axis it has a minus sign get it and if I put x is equal to 0, we will have z is equal to 2. That means this parabola cuts z axis at point 2. Let me find here. So this is 1, 2. It will be that point will be here 0, 0, 2. Since it's a three dimensional figure. Okay. So in xz plane, you are getting in xz plane, we have a parabola symmetric about negative z axis in the direction of negative z axis. Okay. So we will have a parabola like this. So it will be like this. Okay. So it's a parabola, but it's a parabolic cylinder in XZ plane. It's a parabola, but in 3D, it will be a parabolic cylinder. So let me draw it. Okay. So we'll have like this. Okay. We will have like this parabolic cylinder. Okay. So here also we'll have like this. Mm -hmm. So yes, let me draw this line. So yes. So I hope all of you are getting the parabolic cylinder. Let me show with the help of this notebook. Okay. This type of curve, this type of surface we will have. If you see here, this is a parabola, right? It's a parabola, but actually in 3D, it's a parabolic cylinder. So this type of curve or this type of surface we have here. Okay. So yes, let me draw it properly. Okay. So uh, this surface we have. So let us continue now. Uh, this thing we have after that what we have z is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 means x y plane right z is equal to 0 means x y plane y is equal to 0 that means x z plane okay so the region is bounded by x y plane that means this plane x z plane okay x z that means this plane also and we have one more equation x is equal to y so you know that x is equal to y this equation of line in x y plane but it's a plane in 3d in three dimensional getting so let me mention it is a plane so first of all we will try to draw its graph in 2d in two dimension x and y okay in x y plane it represents a straight line which passes through origin so you know that how to find okay to any line we draw a table, we put values of x, we put values of y, we find any two points on the line, we join them, we get a straight line. So the same technique I followed to find out this line. So this is a line, this is a line in x, y plane, but in three dimensional, it will be a plane. So let me draw this line here. Okay, so let me draw this line here. So we will have line, this x is equal to y, but actually in 3D, we will have a plane like this. Okay, this type of plane we have. So I hope all of you are getting. So the region is bounded by this cylinder, getting parabolic cylinder, x, x, z plane, x, y plane, and this plane also. That means this is a, actually, uh, let me write here. So this is, uh, yes, region of integration. Okay. This one and the whatever in along z axis, we have the region here. Okay. So in this way, we have got a region. Now we have to find the limits. Let us find limits now. So here, 
we have to write limits of z first so as a given here z varies from 0 to lower limit 0 and upper limit dimension z is equal to 2 minus x square after that we have to write a limits and after that we have to write the limits of x also so yes this type of diagram this is a base of that region getting so yes in xy plane what will i do i will draw a strip parallel to y axis okay since i want the limits of y so strip is bounded below by x axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 so 0 getting and bounded above by this line x is equal to y that means y is equal to x or uh, from this one also you can easily find limits of y are from 0 to x okay after that we have to find the limits of x so for that we need to know this point okay that means this point we want so what will i do uh, you know its equation what is its equation z is equal to x 2 minus x square i will put x is, uh, z is equal to 0 so we'll have x square is equal to 2 that means x is equal to plus minus root 2 so that's why limits of x will be 0 to root 2 okay since we have considered a positive side so that's why uh, x varies from 0 to root 2 so in this way we have got a limits so with the help of these limits we are going to solve the integration make a screenshot of it then we will go further so i have mentioned limits there so let us solve this triple integration okay so these first we will integrate with respect to z then we will integrate with respect to y and after that we will integrate with respect to x let us integrate with respect to z first integration 0 to root 2 0 to x so when you integrate with respect to z x and y are constant so let me write it outside integration of z is z square by 2 with limit 0 to 2 minus x square dy dx so you know uh, when we get any constant we take it outside so here 1 by 2 is a constant let me take it outside 1 by 2 integration 0 to root 2 0 to x xy i am putting the upper limit 2 minus x square bracket square if i put 0 we will have 0 dy dx okay so now we will integrate with respect to y so x and this bracket is also constant we can take it outside let me do that okay so this is equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to root 2 and x and 2 minus x square bracket square i am taking outside the integration since we are integrating with respect to y integration of y is y square by 2 so it is y square by 2 with limits 0 to x dx so again we have 1 by 2 so let us take that 1 by 2 outside so we will have 1 by 4 integration 0 to root x if i put x here we will have x square and this x square into this x we will have x cube here right so we have x cube if i put 0 we will have 0 let me expand this bracket 4 minus 4 x square plus x raised to 4 dx okay so what will we do we will uh, we will multiply each term of this bracket by x cube we will solve it and then we will integrate okay so this is equal to 1 by 4 integration 0 to root 2 this is 4 x cube minus 4 x raised to 5 plus x raised to 7 dx now it's very easy to integrate so integration of x cube 4 is constant integration of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4 4 4 will get cancelled and we have x raised to 4 only minus x raised to 5 its integration will be x raised to 6 upon 6 2 2 will get cancelled and we will have 2 by 3 x raised to 6 only plus in its integration will be x raised to 8 upon 8 with limit 0 to root 2. let us put uh, upper limit root 2 raised to 4 which will be uh, 2 square that means 4 minus 2 by 3 root 2 raised to 6 that means 2 raised to 3 which is uh, 8 plus root 2 raised to 8 means 2 raised to 4 which is 16 by 8 that means 2 okay if i put 0 we will have 0 see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us simplify it further so which is equal to let me write i is equal to 1 by 4 4 plus 2 6 minus 16 by 3 if you multiply each entry by 1 by 4 we will have 3 by 2 minus 4 by 3 we can cross multiply 9 minus 8 by 6 so 1 by 6 so this is the required answer okay let me remove this one it is not required now okay so you can make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye